All right, so let's look at another one. So this one says, Cindy is making a cake. She poured one eighth of a cup of sugar into her mixture. Uh, she did this five more times. How much sugar is in the mixture? So if I noticed, first I need to do my multiplication problem. Now I look and I see the number five because it says five more times, but I also recognize that she already poured one eighth of a cup of sugar into her mixture and then did this five more times. That shows me that she's actually doing this six times. And then again, we're multiplying by our fraction, one eighth. Now, first I'm gonna do my repeated addition over here. So that means I need to do one eighth six times. Okay, so now comes our model. I look and see I have my eighth piece right here. So now that I have my model, what I need to do is I need to add one eighth six times. So that means I need to mark six bars so that I can add one eighth six times. Four, five, six. Now if I'm looking at my fraction, I see now I have six eighths. Now, the answer though needs to be simplified and I know six eighths is not simplified yet. So what I need to do is I need to find my GCF for six and eight. So I'm gonna start with six and list my factors. I know one times six gives me six and also two times three. I know one times eight gives me eight and also two times four. When looking at this, I see that two is my greatest common factor that six and eight have together. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna divide both of these by two. And when I do that, six divided by two is three, and eight divided by two is four. So I get my answer, which is three-fourths. 